I want to welcome our audience who is just over watching the VCU George Mason finish there in overtime as we have the tournament right around the corner. Richmond and Duquesne, it's been a good first half for Richmond so far. Jack Collinsworth and Ron Thompson with you. A lot of it is just them looking for the weak spot. They're looking for the mental lapse, and then they try to take advantage of it. But what makes them tough is when the shot clock winds down, they have a young man like that that can go get a bucket. And then if he's not rolling, they have a guy like Jacob Gilliard who can do the same thing. He can show some flashes and some great moments. Ken O'Connor, that one's blocked away, going back the other way by Hughes, now running the court. They'll give it away that side. Two big now time. Richmond with it. Two big time defensive plays, I think, by Hughes. They just weren't able to convert. And when you aren't able to take advantage of mishaps, when you aren't able to convert that wide open possession or that wide open layup, a team like Richmond with their veteran experience makes you pay. And, 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 and his, his mojo offensively, Coach Dan Brock would love, love to see that. Another foul called. Yeah, and that's that's a three-point play. Burton will get a chance to go to the line. This has been a tough start to the game for Burton. This is his best form as he gets in. Again, drawing contact and finishing. Excellent rotation. And again, another good sound defensive play by Michael Hughes. He is starting not just understand the pattern and where to run to offensively in Chris Mooney's offense, but he's starting to understand the whys you know, and, and, and why he's having me do certain things so that I can be effective. He has to mature a little bit and understand that your time is coming, but bring the energy until it happens. Harris, he's a 6'7", freshman, as a deep three is good, and a chance for a four-point play on the back end of it for Chad Baker. The Dukes, the Dukes ball club, and you say, this Duquesne ball club is really, really deep. Then all of a sudden, a, a few guys decide to go elsewhere. And because they are deep is the reason why they're able to survive. And because of young men like that, you show on the low block, Andre Harris. Golden, Burton is wide open. And that's down. Too much time, too much space. I like the idea, though, of what Duquesne is trying to accomplish defensively. And because of his stroke so far in the first half, they find themselves only down seven as we close out here in the first half. Look at the steal at the top of the key on Francis. That's not easy for a big man to do. Now kick it down inside. Dunn Martin heaves one up as the half is coming to a close, and it will be a seven-point Richmond lead. Here's Golden. That's that's the whole idea. Just positional. See all these big guys step out. Yep. Now you get KO. Really freed up. Easy work for him, and that's good. You see a nice move here on the inside. Ball back to Richmond. So is that why you decided to come over to Richmond, be able to play with Golden as you see him lay it in one more time? Because you guys played AAU hoops together. He's like, honestly, it's a co it's a, a complete coincidence. Nice ball movement and the foul. Headed to the free throw line now to shoot two, or shoot one, excuse me, is Andre Harris. Just a little turnaround jumper right there by Andre Harris. Oh, it's a big man Weathers trying a three. That's down. Teams don't have an, an inordinate amount of time to prepare for you. That makes you a very, very dangerous ball club. Look at that cut there by Francis. As you see Duquesne trying to find the key to the back door and haven't been able to find it yet. Here's Francis, kicks it out to Gilliard, back to Francis. This one rolls out. Nice little run of the court. And a tough, as he hits the wall, hits really the, the basket. Lead back to seven. Acuff from mid-range, tough shot, and gets it to go. Defensively are the Dukes. Work it inside to KO. Great pass there by one of the best passing big men that you'll see in Golden. Beautiful pass there, Hughes with the slam. Excellent offense, that possession by Duquesne. Francis, good from three. It's a two-point lead for the home team. 
as we come down to the three minute mark. Tough shot there, no good. Now a put back, that's Hughes with the slam. Chance now for KO from the mid range, that's off the mark. Rebound still available, goes right back to Gilliard. That's the exact dagger you were talking about. They're making me look like a genius this game, I'm telling you, <laughs> and, and, but, but he's that kind of guy. And 0 for 2 from the line is Austin. Another second Offensive chance. board <laughs> and a quick takeaway going back the other way to Gilliard. Say that name again. Gilliard. Say it one more time. Gilliard, the Steel <laughs> King. I, I, I believe he's the same guy that uh, Coach Mooney said the greatest instincts of any player that he's coached. And Gilliard, the big three, the dagger you said, even when he's not scoring, have some patience with one Mr. Gilliard. And that's what makes this ball club so tough is that they have veteran guys that play key positions, that under, they've been on the other side of the bridge. They, they've had the, the long seasons. They've had the, the seasons of not, of not having success. They've been on the other side where they've had success, so they understand the ebbs and flows of a season. And they're a tough, tough team to have to play coming down the final stretch because their first five, all five of those guys potentially can get you 20.